Real quick, going to go over some technical specs on my Glock Model 21 Gen 3, uh, which is chambered in 45 automatic. This is a full size 45 from Glock. This is the older Gen 3, and it does have the full size grip. First off, I will say if you have small hands, you probably won't be able to grip this handgun adequately like you should. So I would recommend for the people with small hands to get the Glock 21 SF. That stands for short frame and they've trimmed down the frame back here so that way people with smaller hands can grip it a lot better. So like I said, this handgun is a standard 45 auto from Glock. Overall length is 7.5 inches, height is 5.4 inches, width is 1.2 inches. The length between the rear sight and the front sight is 6.8 inches, the barrel length is 4.6 inches, and the rifling is a standard uh, octagonal profile with the right hand twist just like the other Glocks out there. The length of twist on this barrel just like the other Glock 45's is 15.75 inches. Standard magazine capacity is anywhere from 10 rounds to 13 rounds depending on which state you live in. This is a plus two base plate so this particular Glock is 15 plus one. Now, the weight of the Glock 21 empty without a magazine and it sits right at 27 ounces. One fully loaded magazine sits right at 12 ounces. So when you look at it, you're looking at about 39 ounces for a fully loaded Glock 21. That's going to be give or take an ounce or so depending on the specific ammo. And it'll weigh a little bit more if you have the plus two base plate like I do. Trigger pull, just like the other Glock, standard 5.5 pounds. And just like I said in another Glock video, uh, that can vary between models just because these are combat triggers. They're made for defensive work. They're not match grade. If there is any differences, most likely the shooter's not going to notice it anyway, so that's not a big deal. This particular Glock being a full size, it's very simple. It has the rail, of course, so you can add lasers, lights to your heart's content. Everything is basic on this Glock. Very easy to use, very ergonomic, and very reliable. Now, I'll say one thing about this. This is a Gen 3, and speaking of Gen 3s, right now, in my opinion, is the time to go out and buy Glocks, uh, especially if it's a Gen 3 model. With the Gen 4s out there flooding the market, the Gen 3s are becoming cheaper, you're going to see a lot of Gen 3 used models sitting in the gun stores, a lot of police trade-ins, a lot of people may be trading in their older Gen 3 for a Gen 4. The used Glocks are going to be a lot cheaper than a brand new Glock, and now is the time, I think, to go out. If you really want to get a Glock, I think now is the time. You know, that's the reason I have two Glocks right now. These Glocks were not brand new, they were not overpriced, because one thing that I've always been uh, not a fan of when it comes to Glocks is the price. I do feel that they overcharge for their models sometimes. Uh, I feel that if they charged a little bit less, that I think they would make a little bit more money. Make the Glock a little bit more affordable to the masses, that's my opinion. But in any case, uh, back to the Glock 21. I consider this the standard. The reason I say that is because when you have a Glock 21 outfitted like this, this is pretty much the pinnacle of handgun firepower. You've got 15 plus 1 in a fairly ergonomic package. It's not overly bulky at all. Still easy to uh, operate and shoot. The Glock 21 is known for having very light recoil due to its good design. And the 15 plus 1 firepower is hard to beat. You can also get the aftermarket, uh, I believe they're 27 round, aftermarket high capacity magazines. So, with that said, if you see a Glock 21 and you've never shot one, if you get a chance to shoot one, I highly recommend it. Also, uh, like I said earlier, if your hands are smaller, you just don't like the full grip of a Glock 21, go ahead and go for the Glock 21 SF. A little bit better grip, a little easier to hold on to. 
Uh, and again, I recommend it. So thanks for watching. Feel free to leave any questions, concerns, gripes, complaints, and stay safe.